What's up YouTube, Great Tave here with another tips video for you. So let's just jump right in. Here are my 10 tips to help beginners kick a whole lot more ass in Overwatch. Number one, pick four characters to main. Like most games with a large list of characters to play as, you'll want to have a main character you enjoy playing with. But I highly recommend you pick four characters, one for each class. That way, if you aren't sure who to pick and your team needs a support character, you can just pick your main support character. Same thing goes for tanks, offense, and defense. I also recommend you try out every character in the game before choosing your mains. You may think Reaper is your favorite offensive character, like I did back in the beta, then come to find out Soldier 76 is your favorite offensive character, like I'm finding out now. Number two, play the training against AI. Yes, I know, you spent money on a multiplayer game, you want to play against other people. Well, the thing is, training is a great place for you to actually test out every character if you're new to the game. Spend a little bit of time with each character before choosing your mains. That way you won't have any doubts later, and you will know how you feel about each character before switching mid-game. Number three, don't be afraid to change your characters while in a game. Overwatch actually encourages you to change characters. You can easily do this while in the spawn room, even after you've spawned. If your team needs a tank, switch to your main tank. Or if you just aren't having a good offensive game, get out your main support character. Balance is required to win in Overwatch, but that doesn't mean you have to be forced into playing a role you're not comfortable with. Number four, use your abilities consistently. Each character's abilities are what really sets them apart from everyone else. Don't get into a rut with just using your character's gun, or bow, or little balls. Learn the best ways to use their abilities. Keep track of the cooldowns, and play to your character's strengths. Number five, play your class's role, and not necessarily the objective. This may go against what you've heard before. Everyone says Overwatch is a straight-up objective game, so you shouldn't focus on just killing other people. That's only half true. Yes, you should focus on the objective, but if you're playing as an offensive character, then flank people and deal some damage. If you're playing a tank, get on the payload and be a bullet sponge. If you're playing a support character, stay back and make sure everyone is healed up. Trust me, your teammates will appreciate you a lot more if you're playing as Mercy and buffing your Reaper instead of standing next to the payload and getting shot. Number six, ultimates are not always ultimate. Yes, I know, they're called ultimates, so surely they're badass. Well, not always. Take Reaper, for instance. His ultimate can easily take out three or four people, no problem but only if he gets a jump on them. If you see a Reaper using his ultimate and you're too close to get away, just shoot him. You won't always kill him, but you'll be amazed at how often he goes down before finishing his ultimate. Pick and choose the right times to use your ultimate. And remember, it's okay to save your ultimate for the right time. Just one ultimate at the right instance can completely turn a game around, so don't get too trigger happy with it. Number seven, learn the location of the health pickups. It really doesn't need to be said, but these things are beyond helpful. Make a mental note of each one of them you see. And if you're playing a defensive character, try setting up close to the health packs. Also, don't pick up a health pack if you're only down a few hit points. When you grab one, no one else can pick it up until it returns. So you could hurt your teammates by grabbing them too much. Lastly, if you're playing as a character that can heal themselves, leave the health packs for someone else unless you absolutely need them. Number eight, learn the maps. This goes for every multiplayer shooter you'll ever play. Just like in the previous tip, you'll want to memorize all the locations of the health packs. But also, learn what shortcuts you can take with your main characters. Find the best places to get hide advantages if you're defending or sniping. And again, I highly recommend you use training for this. Number nine, support characters need to focus on healing. If you're playing a support role, one thing you should always be on the lookout for is a healing notification over any of your teammates. Obviously, this means their health is very low. Focus on healing your teammates before buffing them, then focus on buffing them before damaging the enemy team. 
support characters can be very discouraging at first. You'll feel as though you're not having as much fun as you would be playing an offensive character. But once you finish a game with a whole lot of healing and your teammates vote for you after the match, you'll be hooked on it. Number 10. Use the tips provided in the game. A lot of games will give us stupid tips like, press square to reload, like we didn't already know that. Overwatch is different. It will consistently give you little tips on the character you're using, or on the character that just killed you. Use these tips. They are really helpful if you're new to the game. And hey, I can't be lying about this because I'm literally telling you to use tips that I'm not even providing. So those were my 10 tips to help beginners kick a whole lot more ass in Overwatch. Did any of these help you? If so, leave a comment, let me know. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching.